This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. From what the you may find out, certain people not like me. Talking Heads with Naughty is brought to you by BTC, Burger King, the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, the Cleveland Clinic, Kalina Insurance Limited, the Deposit Insurance Corporation, Dunkin' Donuts, Fine Threads, First Caribbean Bank, Grand Bahama News, John's Department Store, Jericho's Wild, KFC, Naughty Johnny's, Percy's Island Games, and Tropical Gyros. Pass me and them girlfriend a link up Hello. Dark way you did that when they think tough No food, clean water for drink up Now me and the dog, them a link up Big truck, 20 inch rim, just a spin top The pioneer just a kick up And a hip hop art a lip up You can't see the star to the tin top Rose gold to the Cuban link up How much ice just a hurr and me ring up okay. From what day you may find out Certain people don't like me Happy one cock a smack a thing now Bex throw me a do it like Nike But me not fear no guy now No matter how hard they must spy me Me just a go and do me thing now Me just a do it like Nike 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 you got it logged and loaded to the uh, da, 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 Wednesday, November 15th edition of Talking Edge. Your boy, no idea in your company right up until 6 p.m. Uh, we're going to open up the lines today for you. It is Wednesday. A little wet on the outside, so please proceed with caution in gear. All right? Yeah, you school run, work run. Listen, slow down. Get there. All right? Got people on the sidewalks. You got puddles galore. You got potholes underneath the puddles. Just proceed with caution and gear. All right? Be humane. <laughs> don't splash nobody up. I know some of y'all go, please don't splash nobody up. Now, like I said, we're going to chime in. we got a special guest today, Mr. Stephen Greenstead. We have a great conversation with him. And Mr. Jeff Delavo going to be uh, stopping in as well. So we're going to chop it up with them. Talk, you know, the issues of the day. And, and, and obviously the headlines that are blazing up the pages of the Nassau Guardian News and Views at Madison's 1844. And lots to talk about there. And, and, and in general, catch up with what's going on with Mr. Greenstead as well. And then, of course, you know, second hour, 5 o'clock hour, we'll be talking sports, all right? So you know how to chime in. Phone lines are open in New Providence, 323-6232, 325-4316, Toll free and anywhere in the family islands, 242-300-5720, 242-300-5720. Text lines powered by BTC, 422-GR96. That's 422-4796. Stream us live, tedio.com. That's guardiantalkradio.com. Cable channel 969, BTC Flow channel 612. That's how you get it in. That's how you get it on for fresh news, smart talk all day. Right here at Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Keep it right where you got it. Flip side of the break. Mr. Producer, let's get to that break. Flip side of the break. We got a fully loaded Wednesday edition, hump day edition, open line edition of Talking Heads. The Wednesday, November 15th edition, as a matter of fact, which continues right after this. The new KFC Nuggets have arrived. That unlike the no gets, ours are handmade using 100% white meat. Unlike the no gets, at KFC, we hand bread every day to achieve the perfect flavor. After you try our delicious and crispy nuggets, in the original recipe, you'll never settle for less. KFC, the real nuggets. It's finger licking good. Cancer Treatment Centers of America is now City of Hope, creating one of the leading cancer care and research networks from coast to coast, providing more of what you need. More locations means more care closer to home. More specialists means more expertise. More research means more breakthroughs. More advancements means more treatment options. And more options means more hope. Learn more at cancercenter.com. 
Get ready to jingle all the way to Christmas with Fidelity's festive giveaway with over $10,000 in cash and prizes up for grabs. Apply for a loan or open an ASU savings account for a chance to just for more details. Terms and conditions apply. Let me ask you a few questions. What's your name? Pam. Favorite food? Steak. Beer or wine? Wine. Is your money safe? It's under my bed, so I guess so. Are you serious? Yeah, why? Unless your money is in a bank or credit union that's a member of the Deposit Insurance Corporation, there's no guarantee it's safe. Yeah, but what if something happens to the bank? Your Bahamian dollar deposits are insured up to $50,000, so you'd still be ahead. Plus, your mattress might catch fire. Then what? Man, those banks and credit unions are looking good right about now. Visit the DIC's website at www.dic.bs. Protection for your money, guaranteed with DIC. Your pumpkin favorites are back at Dunkin'. Indulge your pumpkin passion with fresh-baked pumpkin spice donuts, mouth-watering muffins, and delightful munchkins. Or sip a Dunkin' Pumpkin Spice Signature Latte made with a rich blend of espresso, pumpkin spice, and vanilla flavors, all topped with whipped cream, caramel drizzle, and cinnamon sugar. Available hot or iced, Dunkin' offers the ultimate pumpkin coffee experience. Head to Dunkin' today. The Bahamas runs on Dunkin'. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Gotcha on the Wednesday, November 15th edition of Talking Heads. Your boy, not any company, right up until 6 p.m. And like I told you, we got special guests in studio today. And one thing I, I love about this show that, that I always prided myself in from when we started it, I always said this is going to be a platform for the people as well. You know, we're going to talk politics in the first hour, talk sports in the second hour. Remember, I'm a Bahamian about country first. And then getting everything sorted after, as long as the country gets right. And I think we lost our voice along the way. And when I look around it, there's a few individuals that keep popping up. They still continue, like I say, to keep chopping wood. Eventually, the tree will fall. And no stranger to the show, we have Mr. Jeff Delavo. Obviously, he contributes regularly, always calls in, very impassionate caller, texts often. But always some great points. So I told Jeff, I said, one day, you know, when you got some free time, you got you to come on. Well, obviously, Jeff got some free time. And coincidentally, happens to be the same time a very, Mr. Mr. Producer, I don't know, I got, some, I got a little bleed in my headphones. We're we going to play that in a little bit. Yeah, I, I had a little bleed. 
There you go. We good. And, and like I said, a, a, a pleasure for me to have back on the show. Obviously, been on, on the show in other incarnations. And here early on when I first made the move over, uh, no stranger to the show. And like I say, somebody who, who I am proud to say helped grow me up, as Bahamian people say, uh, Mr. Stephen Greenslade. Oh, I often refer to a lot of lessons and the mentorship he shared over the years. And I'm proud to see him doing what he does, both, you know, in his personal life and his professional life. And, you know, I, I appreciate what he's done in, in, in his political field, too. You know what I mean? It, 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 it takes a lot of bravado and backbone to, to enter into that arena. But today I'm glad to have both of those gentlemen here just as Bahamians to talk about country, to talk about shop, talk about what's really going on. Because sometimes I feel I'm, the, I'm one of the few voices crying out in the wilderness. So I got some of them other voices crying out in the wilderness to come cry out with me together. Because today we got, a, like I said, we got a lot to talk about. And first and foremost, welcome to the show, gentlemen. Good to see both of you. It's a pleasure uh, to be here, Naughty. Uh, as you so right now. I got you on the microphone. I ain't got you on the end of the phone. I mean, there you go. Yeah, there yeah. you go. It's no stranger to me. I've been in this studio for many, many other shows. And um, it's a pleasure to be on your show this time and around. And I'm glad to have you, man. Long overdue. And of course, Mr. Green today. Stephen, good to see you as always. How's everybody? Family good? You're looking good. Well, you have always known a long time. Mi casa es tu casa. You know that. And I literally mean that figuratively <laughs> in, 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 in any which way, you know. So I'm glad to see you and finally, you know, get caught up with you because I, I, I've seen you doing a lot of stuff separately, you know. And, and it's a good to, to see you putting how you feel out there on social media, putting it out in the public domain so people can gravitate to it on their own. Because for a long time, I said, you, get, you check a lot of the boxes, you know what I mean? You, you mm -hmm. get it. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad to have you here today to share. Obviously, Jeff, you know, he contributes regularly. And like I say, we, we got a lot to talk about. I mean, where do you see the Bahamas in 2023, Stephen? Is it, is it something that you envisioned when we were younger? Do you think in 2023 would look how it looks today? No. And especially no. politically. No. And before I get into my viewers, Naughty, I want to lay a disclaimer here. Because <clears throat> what I would like to say to the Bahamas tonight... I don't want it to get caught up in political generalizations. Right. Correct. Okay. And that's why I'll stress again, yes. we are behaving primarily today. Yes. Right. And we know politics is basically the vehicle that get our people who want to be in, in a government, in government service mm -hmm. to parliament. Right. And so politics is with us. It'll always be with us. No matter how much we try to avoid it, it, it always gets my, involved. My view, based on experience, is this. We could clean it up. We could clean it up. We can stop being spiteful about it. We can stop being vindictive about it. Okay? We could enjoy it. Politics is a work that you really can enjoy. And I do believe a lot of the persons who take part in politics in the Bahamas do enjoy the work. The things that bothers me about it is from time to time when these, when these elements of tribalism affect people and they act out against each other. And then it goes because you find that Persons in one party may uh, make a decision and persons from another party because of the party they in. And it go on and on. And we suffer for it. This is a very wide spread topic we're trying to deal with now, right? So we could be up and down and about with these thoughts. But I'm yet to say, and I've said to my comrades, in the FNM. Let me go back a little bit. You know I ran with the DNA in 2017, yeah? Mm-hmm. And there's a little story behind that that I didn't think I'd get to share during my first two uh, <clears throat> times in the um, election cycle, the first two times in the election cycles that I campaigned and took part in, right? But I don't think I got the opportunity to really crystallize my story in terms of why, Stephen, why 
why, why you decided to get involved <clears throat> in frontline politics. Because if you look at Brown's story, there's nothing in there to say, you look here, this guy will end up being a politician, All right? So when I look at politics and the way it's done in the Bahamas, it's concerning because when I move around the country, I can see where neglect is, is, is eminent. I can see where probably absence of thought in terms of vision, in terms of building out infrastructure, in terms of building out urban communities, in terms of building out business communities on our islands. We see, I see what we saw in the 60s, 70s, and probably the 80s, where persons were doing mom and pop shops and small businesses. And right, hoping. small entrepreneurship trying yeah. to evolve. But you know what I learned during my inquiry into this thing called political victimization? That a lot of people lost those, their opportunities to enterprise because of what they think was political victimization, depending on the circumstances that led to decisions that affected them. And so the subject of the element of political victimization came to bear on me in 2012. 2012, yes. And between 2012 and 2016, I toiled with whether or not I would get more from politics at all. Was that part of, of your motivation to get in politics because of the victimization? Yes, it was. It because was. I, I, when, it was. When, I, when you say victimization, I, I'll be brutally honest. I think that's been part of the playbook from the inception. And part of the divine and conquer mentality and who's the government of the day. Yes. And, and it shouldn't run like that. You should, you should be, you know, run on your merits, on the content of your character, which you've done, which you've achieved. And if you know it in yourself that you failed, then pack up shop and go. Accept, accept what comes to you at the polls. Or if you've done your due diligence, know that you should expect to be returned to office because you put in the work. It's not that I threatened or spooked or scared you into voting for me. I think this bully boy culture of politics needs to be, you know, <laughs> eradicated. It's long overdue and it's long played out. Yes. So we need to modernize politics in the Bahamas, in a nutshell. All right? We need to be more collaborative. Yes, the political parties and their members and followers will be their tribes. Right? But let's clean up our interaction a little bit more. Okay, let's not be out there excoriating each other just because we believe what we say about that guy will score points for us in the minds of our voters. I don't think that's true. That's true anymore, uh, Naughty. That's no, not true anymore. We need to see debates. We need to see, stop seeing the mudslinging, and I'd rather see two potential candidates or three potential candidates have a live debate or a live discourse so I can find out and connect myself as to which candidate I gravitate to regardless of party affiliation, whose message resounds the most with me. And that's how politics grows, and the, 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 the playing field is leveled. It's not lopsided. Because if you lead it up to Joe Public, who you inevitably have to come to to become empowered, and I think Joe Public keeps forgetting that. Yes. We the boss. Mm -hmm. So we yes. should start being treated like the, the worker, because at the end of the day, it should be who we want. Yes to represent us in whatever constituency. And if that means in one constituency, the candidate from the PLP is the best and they gravitate there, then so be it. If it's FNM or DNA, the party you want to affiliate now, uh, days, that's somebody's God-given right, but it should be on display for us to gravitate to, not being force-fed what we should take. It, it should be, they should be listening for what we want. We should be feeding them, they shouldn't be feeding us. Yes, and so, and you're absolutely right with all of those points. And so I'm one to think that we need to modernize it, yeah? Now, I think we got a call, Mr. Producer. Let's get to the, to the phones. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? A pleasure. Good evening. Mr. Mr. All right, we got the, you got the illustrious Sparky. I mean, Jeff and, and, and Mr. Greenslave, hey, we got Sparky for you. Sparky, how are you? You know, I think I prefer the honorable name Bucket Mouth. <laughs> yeah, well, the illustrious Bucket Mouth, Ratchet Jaw, Dirty Beige, Sparky. That's better? But, you know, sometimes I try to 
speak to some issues sometimes. That uh, they go in the supermarket, they smack it, keep keep the but, but the keep the foot to the fire. But uh, nobody I can ask some questions sometimes. I know you just give me some time. When it comes to Bahamians owning things, let me take it easy with this. For you to promote yourself a comedian, you go over Paradise Island and invite people to come over there. Take it easy with me right now. Why can't you own your own club over here and we come to you? Get where you're coming from. Why do we patronize ourselves and we always patronize other people? Very morning, see but, but just so you know, Sparky, just, just so you know, Joker's Wild is a Bahamian-owned entity, so for the no, record, I'll let you know, it is a Bahamian-owned entity. The bridge and all that kind of thing. I understand that, that point. You understand? I got that like, point. Like Freddie Munnins Jr. always said, well, you don't come down the place over there by Gladstone Road and this and that, where the people is, and do this kind of thing. But say, I'm not knocking anybody, but I'm, a, I'm saying this. What I'm saying now... For me, started this political thing. For me, started this political thing when the black people took over from the UBP. Right now, today, Bahamian people are, are they afraid to admit that the UBP still own everything. <laughs> we go to them to all their hardwares, the Dalbinas, and the AZ Pritchards, and all of them places. We buy the stuff from them, we sell it out to the Bahamian people. All the foreigners and everything still own everything. What do the Bahamian people own? I mean, that's a good question, Sparky, but I mean, you, you go in there already? You, you playing the race card already early in the day? Is it by election time? What's going on? No, no, I'm saying, uh, no, sorry, I'm not that even that getting in the that. by election, man. All right, Mr. Green's head, by the answer, your point that you just Mr. made, Mr. though. Mr. What? Naughty, I am asking you one thing. I'll be thinking about our children and our grandchildren, the future of Bahamian people, are we still selling our country to fathers? I, I think it's the latter, Sparky, and not the former. Mm -hmm. So when are we going to stop worrying about by-election, general election, and this and that, and at the end of the every day is about the UBP or the PLP or the FNM or the DOI, and at the end of the day, our children still can't afford to buy a piece of land to build a home. Well, Sparky, when you have a statement like that, you got to remember Bahamians first, country first, and stick to it. So now so when the PIP call when you, when you and rile you for, for standing up for country I'm, today, you can't call me tomorrow singing a different story. You got to stay firm in the trenches. But I okay, surround my own party. I surround everybody. I, I keep telling everybody, Naughty, I always said it. I am 72 years old. God, maybe tomorrow morning. When are we going to stop? We need to fight Bahamian voice. Sparky, we, foreigners voice. we hear you on that, Sparky, and I appreciate your call. Good point. We're going to let Mr. Green say um, speak to that, and Mr. Delaware speak to that. Jeff, go I'll wrap it up. Well, you know, very interesting viewpoint, and, you know, everyone who has ever listened to me on radio, you know, I... Just like everyone else, we, we, we affiliate ourselves with political parties. But when you get to the point where you realize that it is always God and country first, and then the political party, then you could begin to create the momentum in this country to move this country forward for Bahamians. But what has happened in so many cases, I mean, just going out there, and if you just mention a political uh, figure, Everyone wants to jump down on your throat. But when you start to talk about country and what are the benefits that they are receiving from the country other than uh, when they make the comparison between what is the politician appear to be receiving and what is the benefits that you as an individual uh, is receiving from the country, then there's that disparity. But we have this thing as if we elevate certain persons among us as gods and we treat ourselves as peasants. So... In essence, what I'm saying is you cannot uh, uh, blame the UBP. You cannot blame the PLP. The power is in the hands of the Bahamian people. 
And if you do not want to take the responsibility to take that power from the politician and take the power from the foreigners and take the power from those influential people in this country who have the access and the rights to what you as an individual, you as a Bahamian, supposed to be entitled to, and you allow them to continue use, utilizing it, but you sitting on the side and giving your power to them, then you cannot blame them. It, and this is the message that I've been trying to tell people from time immemorial. I personally, I'm sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of it, and I want to see change. But what are you going to do in order to help the change to come? You can't just talk it. You have to walk it. Agreed. Sometimes you need a solution. When you make that complaint, you got to have the positive solution to reinforce, you know, what the problem is and how to fix it. Jeff cleared that up quite well. But I'm glad I asked him to go first so I could think about what Sparky said. Mm -hmm. The Bahamas is at a place where we all have to wake up. Look around, see what we have, check our resources, and determine how we want to build this country forward. Sparky, I hear you, you know. You still on the line? No, 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 no he's gone. gone. Sparky, I hear you. I walked the streets of Garden Hills, and me and you had a brief exchange. I heard you then, I hear you now. But what I'd like to say to the Bahamian people as a citizen of this country is, unless we decide to unite ourselves, mm -hmm. work together, create, be, commit, be genuine in our intentions, and commit to causes that improve this country, you'll be right here. Ten years from now, talking still beating about the up same, the same conversation. But the same, same thing. thing starts with our mindset mm -hmm. improvement. Then it goes to how we look at ourselves, how we look at each other. Then it goes to how we treat each ourselves other. and how we treat each, each other. other. Mm -hmm. Can't get nothing done if we don't fix those concerns we have with each other. Yeah, and at some point, like I've always said, we could agree to disagree, but at least let's sit at the table and find out the things we do agree on so we can move forward there and work on the things that we disagree on to come to a common cause to get it done for the betterment of the country. It's always been we disagree and certain entities benefit and the country suffers. And I think in 2023, there are a lot of generations and age groups and sets that are sick and tired of it. Mm -hmm. And they're tired of the same old, same so, old. Well, I can tell, sorry, no, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. See, 55 is something else, so his memory, you know? Right. And that's why I don't lie, or I try not to lie, because <laughs> my memory, you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> that's why I have, see, LaRodia, yeah? that's my right of it. You make sure you don't. <laughs> Make like, sure you get straight. Boss, you better look yeah, at Google it. Google it. Here you go. <laughs> no, but right, I mean, my point is, yeah. I, I, yeah. Yes, it's true. <laughs> See, again, we have to, I didn't lost where it's going, but anyhow, we have to figure out how to work together. Right? Yep. I went to Andres last year, last week, Friday. And I didn't, I never been to that part of Andres. Although right. I went there campaigning for the... I went on to stop with my comrades in the FNM, I think. Yes, I did. And, but I didn't notice that part of Andrews we touched on on Friday, heading to another key. And sorry, the backward state that area is in infuriate me. It just infuriated me, Naughty. Okay? Yep. Yes, why? And this is not a political stab at my friend's opposite. But this is for us to consciously think about it. My friend's opposite stated in their, and they are celebrating, and, and congratulations to them on the, the uh, convention that they held 
they know how to put on a show. I must give them credit for that. And that speaks to years of development as an organization, right? Um, but what triggered my thought was the celebration of year 70. And when I touched down in Andrus, and I know a lot of smart people in the Progressive Liberal Party. I know a lot of them. I respect a lot of them as citizens, as professionals, business people who I did business with, and the like, right? And of course, you know I'm on the other side of the fence with the free national movement. But this is not political in my mind right now. No, this this is national. Correct. Okay? But my, my uh, political participants opposite boast of 70 years of rule or existence as a party, as an organization. My thing is... Boast on that word progressive to me too, but I think too much progressive. Oh, oh, Hold on, on, no, I remember 55 now. These memories saying stick around. I'm a little younger, but yeah, I feel right? you, I feel you. Hold on. Both of that, right? And when you look at the level of under the country, I would not say something like that on any stage. Because you can, you can build, and I, I'll introduce this thought to the FNM too, you can build an economic team that will go all around the world looking for economic deals to birth enterprises, manufacturing hubs, cities, build bridges, causeways in this country. We have the landmass for it. This type of infrastructural development will naturally drive <coughs> employment, Correct. entrepreneurship, social uh, structure, social stability, and economic freedom for our people, <coughs> like Sparky is trying to elude to. Right, we got another call. Let's go. And if we got to go over into the 5 o'clock, we can do that too. I, I, I'm, I'm sure Pearlie wouldn't mind. Uh, let's, let's go to the phone lines real quick. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hey, Naughty. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I am fine. You got three wonderful person in your studio this evening. Well, that's good. There's actually you know, four of us friend. in here, three of them wonderful, so what'd that make me? <laughs> my friend, it's a great uh, uh, Okay. Yeah. yeah. What a guy, Alex Garuda. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's a green flag. Yes, ma'am. Wonderful, ma'am. Thank you. I'm going to pull that you come through this time, sir. It's in the hands of the people. Yes, ma'am. We could use, you know, not if we could use good, honest persons in the house. Too. Yes, this sounds like my good friend in Yellow L.A. Yeah. That's right. That's, That's what good. number one fan, eh? Yeah, I know, I know. I always see your comments on Facebook. I appreciate yeah. you, girl. I ain't called your name because I, I don't, I don't well, know if it, right. you want. Well, you everybody know. Concerned. Everybody knows how to be a warrior. You know, well, you be, you know we worked in the, at the hotel together. At the hotel together. Hold <laughs> <baby. laughs> well, up, Jeff. Well, yeah. Yes, sir. Tell, tell the people a story about just your friend Greenslade at the hotel. Quick quick story. Oh, okay, let me make it quick then. My friend Greenslade at the hotel yeah. was the same as is now today. And he had hold, like Jeff could say, one of the prestigious high position in the hotel. Yeah. And he was just like the Buffy. Yeah. Or the houseman, always very low, down to earth, loving, caring, sweet person, you know? Yeah, yeah. Despite his position, I'm naughty. He is always the same. Even just here lately, I met him in Kelly's. And he don't, like, at some point, he was just high or hell. He hug you, he slap you, you know what I mean? And then you yeah. see a person as genuine as he is. Then you could go wrong. He's yeah. never changed all throughout the year. I, I, so I get a test it out on multiple levels as well. Yeah, as a leader, you know what I mean? Well, no, well, yes, no, no, well you watch what you say because you know, you know, yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> I, 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 I got my bucket right now. <laughs> that's all right. You coming through this time. I can see her and your mama, I say, I'm always there for you. Yes, Just you call did. on me. You did. And, and I, you and I will be walking the ground together. I look forward to it. Okay. Now, I don't know if they'll give me your community, but if they do, <laughs> you know. No, now, come on. 
Yeah. Okay. Then you, I don't know. My other friend, Mr. Dave, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, 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 I can't bother that. <laughs> I don't have to spend the time on the two years. <laughs> okay? Uh, thanks for the call, Navoli. I sincerely appreciate your comments and, uh, welcome, and your heart. Appreciate it. Okay, yeah. bye-bye. Nolly, just before you go to a call there, I mean, you know, that is some, that, that young lady there is someone who, she don't cut mustard. She, I know. She, she, call, me all the time. she calls you know, it. For what it is. And, and that's why me and I are all right. You okay. Go and see it. Okay. Now, I got a text here that's coming in, and I, I want you to clarify this, Mr. Greenslade. Now, text, I, I, I get your text. Naughty, the gentleman who, who was speaking, Mr. Greenslade, says he's on the other side, but the F&M just is bad because they did nothing. So you can't cast blame if you're in a party that, did, that didn't do anything to fix what he's talking about. I think you might have mixed the part where he said, and I will introduce this concept and thought to the F&M. Meaning I will tell them the same thing I'm saying about the PLP. But we'll get to the break and I'll allow him to pick it up and finish it for you on the flip side of the break. And we will go over into the 5 o'clock. Call as I see you. Just hang tight. We'll get to you on the flip side of the break. Don't think the dish and the talk and ads continues right after this. You don't got to stand in line. Pay online, you can pay your premiums on time. Right at Camino Dock. Whether it's life, home, auto, marine, or health, it's all inside your palm. Pay insurance at Camino Dock. Whether it's life, home, auto, marine, or health, it's life, home, auto, marine, or health. We've got you covered. Right at Camino Dock. When faced with an illness like cancer, we band together. And we at Cleveland Clinic in Florida have your back. From advanced cancer treatments to extra safety measures at all of our locations, we're with you on this journey. For every infusion and follow-up, for every step of the way, for every care in the world. Cleveland Clinic in Florida. Get the care you need when and where you need it. To learn more or connect with a local representative, Visit clevelandclinic.org slash Caribbean. Juicy fried chicken, mashed potatoes with gravy, and a hot buttery biscuit for only $5. That's genius. Part of the KFC Genius menu, the KFC $5 snack box delivers on flavor and value. Need to feed more than one? KFC's Great Picks has got you covered. Packed with four thighs and four legs, fried to golden perfection, plus four buttery biscuits for only $20. More genius. Hungry for deals? The Genius Menu at KFC. It's finger licking good. John Shoes and Accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. You will find what you're looking for among the growing collection of classic and trendy styles with new arrivals every week. John's covers the whole family and has great prices, helpful and friendly customer service. Your experience shopping with us will be time well spent. Shop at johnshoes.com. John's also now carries small home appliances. So come on into John's located on Rosetta Street in Palmdale and Carmichael. Michael Road West. John's, we put fashion at your feet. Play with Island Games, we making dreams come true. Play with Island Games, we paying more out to you. Don't mind the noise in the market, you get cash in your pocket. Cause Island Games is spicy, and spicy is tradition. So when you play, play Island Games, we put in Bahamian's voice, guaranteed to pay. Island Games, we like them mother jokers, we've been here from the start, from the bike to computer. Island Games, we can make your dream come true. We play it with Island Games. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. We're back at you on the Wednesday, November 15th edition of Talking Heads. I'm going to let Mr. Greenslade respond to that texter. Okay. And then we'll go to the phone line. If I got that clear, the texter indicated that... Um, Did you remember I, of the I F&M are on that side? And, the, and they're just as bad because they yeah. did nothing. So you can't cast blame if, you're, if your party didn't do anything to fix yeah. what well, he's talking about. Well, I'm not... Let's get it clear. I... Um, I'm not class- casting blame. I'm putting down some facts, some observations I had. 
and uh, out in going down just and listening to the, some comments from the convention of the PLP. But I didn't come here to, to shoot no, no bullets at the PLP, not today. I want this topic to be general. Correct. And get towards uh, stimulating the minds of our people and redirect it to nation building as opposed to self grandization and, right? and party politics. All right. So this ain't a political move for me today. Right? Now, if I get instructions before we go to, to the hill on the 22nd, yes, I will pick up my weapon. But today, I have laid them down to deal with this conversation generally for our people to pay attention to if they will. So, my, a caller, if you represent the Progressive Liberal Party, I mention your party with no ill intention. But to clarify a point I made, an observation I made uh, while traveling to Andres and then um, marrying that with what I heard during your convention. And again, I went to say that I congratulate you on your convention. I congratulate Mr. Mitchell on his win as chairman. Um, you know, uh, I, I'll tell you a joke. Uh, <laughs> last week when I uh, announced uh, that I was intending to continue in frontline polit politics, I shoot a little six-shooter at Mr. Mitchell. <laughs> and the wife told me, put that down. You don't need to do that. Right? Well, you know, I, I would say, hey, 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 <laughs> and, uh, bang, bang, I, shoot I, him up. <laughs> I'd like to say to my, my senior brother, meaning Bahamian brother, because uh, he did work for the country, despite what anybody may say. And I'm not uh, promoting the PLP. I'm trying to be real here. Um, I don't know if he saw the six shooter I, I shot, but about 16 to 20 people found that humorous. And I pulled that back, Mr. Mitchell. Uh, please friendship in your mind. Going over to the... But please do that for Mr. Green's yes. As far as I'm concerned, yes. Mr. Mitchell, <laughs> me and you was never friends in nobody's <laughs> mind, so it's all good. I'm going to continue on my road, I road. You take no. your road and be all good. No, you don't go there because I don't want you to mix up this, this uh, intention here, right? And here's why I say that. We have to move away from even joking about the character of another person publicly because people will screw that. So, so diversely, it might affect that individual. And that's what I'm not, I am not all about that. Right, but, right? but on that point, though, we have to move away from the hypocrisy of it because a lot of the individuals yes. that cry victim and claim victim are the ones that hide behind a keyboard and sling the most yes. visceral yes. and the most lies and slander. So, yes. well, you know me, here I go, all right, I coming back over. I go, you, you, you've been here before, I know, I let know, me, I coming this way, I coming no, this way. Know. I got you. Let me tell you another joke. Right? Because we didn't get through that one. <laughs> All right? <laughs> but anyways, the PLP had a good convention. Congratulations to them. We on the FNM. Uh, we have our soldiers in the field doing uh, ball moving toward the hill. I understand that we are doing well in all uh, uh, sectors of that community. Uh, our, our general, our armor bearer is being received well. And uh, I would like to give kudos to them. I know what it's like on the campaign trail. This one was a pop one on us. And uh, we're putting out all of our guns to make sure that we win this uh, war. And I say that all in the proverbial sense. Because when you go to battle, you have to think of yourself as in a war to be victorious and follow the principles of war. All right? That said, Paul made when he asks, well, what about the FNM? I am one to ask anybody with responsibility to be responsible and accountable, whether you're at my side or whether you're opposite me, right? So I'll say I do make recommendations to, my, to our party in the forums that I'm allowed to, um, and I haven't attended council meetings in a while, uh, as the, the, the schedule always conflict in my business schedule, but I do make contributions that I think will enhance the thought of nation building as opposed to party tribalism, all right? And so we, I, we came here today to talk about a particular thing, 
uh, in politics called political political victimization. And we're going to pick that up on the flip side of the break because we got to get to the yeah. news right now. It's 5 o'clock. Call us. I appreciate your patience. You can hang or call me right back after the news. I'll get to you all right out of the break. And then we'll pick up that conversation with Mr. Greenslade and Mr. Dalavo about something that is very rampant and very alive and very well in this country, political victimization. So keep it right where you got it. We'll pick up the conversation on the flip side of the break as the Wednesday, November 6th, 15th edition of Talking Heads continues right after this. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. Talking Heads with Nazi is brought to you by BTC, Burger King, the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, the Cleveland Clinic, Kalina Insurance Limited, the Deposit Insurance Corporation, Dunkin' Donuts, Fine Threads, First Caribbean Bank, Grand Bahama News, John's Department Store, Jerker's Wild, KFC, Naughty Johnny's, Percy Island Games, and Tropical Gyros. We're back at you on the Wednesday, November 15th edition of Talking Heads. Let's go to the phone lines and get this this caller who's been way patient. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hi, Naughty. Afternoon. How are you? Who's this? I'm fine, thank you. Mr. Greenslade. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Delaville. Good afternoon. Oh, Mr. Delaville, I had to... I had to but, um, yeah, um, Mr. Greenslade. No, 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 no. Before Mr. Delaville go, I would like for Mr. Delaville to please speak to the um, antiquated educational system we have. We have... I'm listening to three intelligent Bahamian men, and I would like to think that the youth of our country would would love to aspire to speak as well as you do, you guys do, on, on wherever they go. Mm-hmm. I would like to think that they would aspire, aspire to be like you all are. So mm-hmm. I would love for Mr. Delavo to please speak to this antiquated educational system we have in this country because I, it is deplorable. I'm sorry. I, I'll let Mr. Greenslade speak to that caller because Mr. Delavo has left studio. Like I said, he had a prior commitment, but you oh. know, he won't be no stranger. He's no stranger to the show. I'm sure he's listening and he'll chime in or we'll hear from him tomorrow. But Mr. Greenslade is here, so I'll let him answer that. Okay, Mr. Greenslade, um, it'll be my pleasure. But please, mm. please, please put the politics aside, and yes. I know you have. Yes. But speak to it bluntly yes. so that all Bohemians can understand yes, ma'am. how backwards are. Uh, so- yes, ma'am. Thank now, you, caller. Now, while I don't have the interaction in education uh, to speak to any technical flaws that we may believe are there and how to address them at the moment, I would say that if you look at the results that our system produce, I would certainly support your view to a great extent. I, too, would want to be able to go out to a restaurant or to a social environment and sit next to a Bahamian who I don't even know and have a nice, warm conversation with them or exchange with them and to enjoy their thoughts expressed to me, similar to what you've described hearing from me. I want that to happen. I want our systems to reach the levels where our children would be developed as they should at age 13, 16, 19, 20, and 21. I want our system to, to, to reach that level. And so how do we do it? What I'm hearing is we have to continue to improve our educational or education infrastructure. We have to continue to invest in compensating teachers so that we attract the best. Well, all of our teachers are good now. Let me backtrack before I get myself in trouble. We have good teachers here in the Bahamas. 
They have need to be compensated good. as such. Yes, they have to be properly compensated. And, you know, one might say, well, teach us all the world. No, we in the Bahamas. We're dealing with the Bahamas. We're not worrying about the world. We want the best. We want the best education for our children. We want the best environment for them to learn in. We want air-conditioned classrooms for them. We want them to feel that their environment is welcoming to them so that their minds could develop toward cordiality, toward nation building, toward kindness, toward love, toward inclusion. Empathy. Empathy. The things that really molds us into good human beings. We want that for our children. And it starts home first. Then it extends through the different programs that we have for development purposes that include our educational program. I hope that answers your question on what I want and what I would promote if I'm ever in any capacity that affect decisions made at that level. Right, let's get to the phones. I think we want uh, Jeff chimed in to, to answer the texters uh, or the callers a question. Go, go ahead, Jeff. We got a couple thank of you. callers, so, so try and make it brief yeah, if you could, please. Thank you, thank, thank you so much, Nori. And caller, I did hear you. I'm actually on my way to my other prior commitment, but um, I wanted the, an opportunity just to, ex to answer your question. Uh, the Bahamas, uh, I would say our education system, uh, and many people would, would beg to differ, but our education system has been one of the best in the world. I mean, we have produced many, many great behaviors. And, and when I say great behaviors, I'm not talking about just children from wealthy families. We've had many uh, children from middle class homes, even, even down to the poverty level, that has, have excelled. And many of them have actually broken the glass window, the glass ceiling. Whereas those who weren't even expected to do well, actually some of the presidents, vice presidents, and, and whole high offices, not just here in the Bahamas, but all around the world. Our education system, yes, it does need some work. It does need tweaking. But um, I believe that once we can attract the bright minds, once we can compensate our teachers properly and encourage them to, to perhaps even go and seize better, uh, a higher quality of learning, to enhance what they already know and bring that here and apply it, I think our children would then again begin to excel in, in just about everything that they put their minds to. I want to close on this one very quick point here, Naughty. The Bahamas was once known to be uh, uh, very, very well known in the STEM program for way back then. We were known to be bio, uh, biochemists, uh, chemistry majors. We were known to be physicists and so on and so forth. We did excel in the sciences at a high degree. That we, and I believe that once we can, like I said, it goes all the way back to compensating the, 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 the teachers, attracting the brightest minds that still ex reside here in the country, who's excelling in education, these schools, and actually uh, get them engaged in, into uh, imparting the, the, the knowledge and the education that is much needed to build a bigger, better Bahamas. And I think once we can do that, then the Bahamas can, can again begin to move forward in terms of our knowledge and education, uh, not just here, but around the world. But thanks for taking my call, Naughty, and I hope I answered the question for uh, the caller. Thanks God so bless. much. Thanks so much, Jeff. Let's get to these other two calls real quick. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? The words that I herald has no weight to those that have no understanding. This is Brayman Naughty. Hey, what's going on, Brayman? Right here, man. What's saying? I'm good, man. You got anything from Mr. Greenslade? Which one of Greenslade is he? S Stephen Greenslade. I participated in two election cycles. The first one was with the... Yeah, but we used to work before... Okay. ...before you got into politics. Or before you ran. Or participated in the election. I worked running my companies from 1994. Where? Right here in New Providence. Where? Um, we are located uh, off Markey Street, Ivanhoe Road. And that's what the corner of, next to the Salvation Army. Okay. What sort of business? I can't remember the business that 
one it's on the side of the Salvation Army. Okay, but what sort of business are they? My businesses include security services, um, construction services, charter services, cement services, import export services, um, aircraft enhancement services. Which area? Between here, South Florida, and uh, presence in Boston. Um, I see what I understood what you were saying. Mm -hmm. But let me ask you something. Somebody was speaking of education, right? Yes. What's your position when it comes to education or educating our people? Well, my position is that we would want the best quality of education for our people. How we get that is what we might want to debate okay, a bit. What? I say, how we, how do we get it? The, how do we get the best education? Is what we would want to look at then, right? So, how much time that would take you to find what what we need or what we looking, what you are looking for? It's right in our minds. We simply need to um, determine what we want and what we need. Okay. Make up our minds to do it and do it. That's good thinking. If we could get the uh, uh, the nationals to, under to understand that, you'll yeah. be on well on your way. But you know where I would want you to start? Mm -hmm. With your intelligence, the court system, the mm -hmm. police, and a lot of those politicians. Because mm -hmm. it's terrible the way they're allowing that hospital mm -hmm. to just carry on. Yeah, yeah, you sir. Uh, yeah, Thank you. you. Brayman, darling, Ferguson is the name. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Thank uh, you. All right, Brayman, I appreciate you, man. Behave yourself now. Don't, don't bust no corn now. You know we go here. <laughs> you know all right, right Brayman. <laughs> Talking Ed's Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hi, this is Happy Naughty. How you doing? Hey, what's going on, man? I, you got a question for Mr. Greenslet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, well, I just wanted to comment on the educational thing. Uh, I think part of our challenge is that what we expect or what we think is the situation don't match. And that doesn't mean that what the situation is isn't better than what most of the time would be thinking it is. As he was also, uh, actually, as Jeff said when he called in. But um, I think that's part of our big challenge. And so we have to find a way to connect him back so that we could make sure that everybody un gets the information so that they could make more informed utterance comments. The other part to it is that we're asking a lot from a system that isn't really designed to be parents. And so to, to develop the children and then um, teach them in the school also. Whereas before, you know, when we, you and I came to school, we came to school with a, with a level of um, exposure, experience, etc. already. And then I think that's part of the challenges that we have. But I also think that we also have to try and find a way to be less tribal in our discussion yes. as, we, as we move forward. Because we can't continue to say we want a better Bahamas, but yet we polarize every minute of the day that we get an opportunity to polarize. Yes. And that's, my, that's my comment on, on that aspect of what we're talking about. Thank you for taking the call. All right, Happy. I'll let Mr. Greenshead respond. Very good points there, Brother Happy. And I'll go straight to your last point. We, we need to reduce the level of tribalism among us as a people. If we want to reach the, the modernization that we should be at now, I don't think we are actually there. Now, some persons may argue, yeah, are we there, are we getting there, or we have plans to get there, but we're not there, right? And it's because we don't come to conclusions collectively enough to involve the majority of us in benefiting from our country. And so not enough of us are able to give back to help with causes that benefit the country by and large. 
And so you find little pockets of things happening here, little pockets happening there. This organization might be doing one thing in the next. But we could tell to produce more results that reach more people. That's my view. All right, let's get to this other call real quick. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hey, good evening, Adi. What's uh, going good on? Good to my friend, Mr. Stephen Grainsley. My brother. Where are you, man? How's Listen, that? I just wanted to put my five cents on the education system, and I want to move that into employment in the Bahamas. Okay. So let's start off with the fact that I still believe that um, it was a very good thing when the government got involved in preschools, mm-hmm. kind of prepared them for the the primary schools, and the education system is based mostly on the the public system with the majority of the students go to the public schools. Right. The advantage, I believe, most of the private schools have on the government schools is the, their, their, their reading system. They have a particular system they use, um, it's called the, um, what the, what's it called again? Uh, that, um, Hook on Phonics. This is a very, very good reading system. I don't know why it's, in, it's not implemented in the public schools. I don't think it is. But I know that that certainly advances kids quickly into reading. They're right. able to understand reading. Right. I think that's a good thing they need to look at. And I've been saying this. I believe they're now making some steps to do this. I've been saying this for years. That we need to put more vocational classes in school. Yes. I think the basic subjects you need to have, you know, English, math. You need to know some general science. Mm-hmm. Of course, uh, these um, technology, you need to know a little bit of geography, too. Right. But outside of that, if we start teaching, making plumbing a subject, um, electronics a subject, mm-hmm. um, carpentry a subject, masonry and these mechanics and these sort of technical mm-hmm. um, subjects, make them a, 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 a subject in school, yeah. then I believe you get rid of D, this D, because a guy may be able to make A in plumbing, electrical, welding, mechanics may be able to make A in all of those. Yes. And that would reduce this D in the school. But it also does, it now gives you an opportunity to reduce the amount of labor certificate and weight permits that we have to issue in this country. Yes. I've I been agree. hoping that um, while I was director of labor, mm-hmm. I would have an opportunity. I put a system in place, and uh, I'm glad that I had a proposal in place. Mm-hmm. I'm glad the repair thought this minister is taking one of my proposals. That one had to do with understudy. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it's, it's so sad about politics in this country. But they tie into to the, the job related. Um, the educational part uh-huh. of how we can get more employees and less work with being issued. So I think it would have been 2019 or late 2018, I was trying to get a policy in place to cause there to be an understudy program that the employer would have provided the Department of Labor with that understudy program that should have been accompanied with the application form for any labor certificate, because mm-hmm. the week may start the labor certificate. Right. And, man, I remember I get ring over the, the counter by the Chamber of Commerce. This lady, I think she's in charge now, Ms. Rutherford. I think she's in charge now. And Peter Gow, you might ring me over the, I mean, ring me over the call in front of the minister and the prime minister secretary mm-hmm. labor that time. Oh, and then Candia Deems and um, Karen um, um, Depute from the from the editorial, both Tribune. Man, they had me in there. Oh, I trying to bring back an old um, um, PLP, AD HANA, the immunization program, and they had me over the cold. You know, so sad about it. Ben's a man who's not a minister of education. Did not make one bit of uh, defense on my behalf to say it was the right thing. Why? Because the FM is in power and the PLP is in the opposition. We got to take part of education if we're going to advance this country. And reduce the amount of weight permits in this country. And that's why. All, all your points. I'll all your Mr. points. Said, respond. All your points are noted, my brother. And greetings to you. I just got the voice at the tail end or the middle part of your commentary. But those are all um, noted points. And I would say that I would like, I would encourage, as a citizen of the Bahamas, I would encourage our uh, brothers and sisters in the professional spaces to. Be open-minded. Be open-minded. If a, if a thought is brought to the table, discuss it amicably. And if it wouldn't work, then let's be respectful about expressing ourselves about that. And so if you felt any uh, slight by what you experienced, experience, I'd ask that you forgive the situation and 
move on and keep contributing to nation building. You are a nation builder, my brother. You can't have people, you know, I, I know a lot of other intelligentsia, you know, the think tankers. They put up a lot of good ideas, but sometimes, you know, people don't gravitate to them or they, they, they pass them to the side and or they get them to work on a bill for or a law for 10 years and then don't use it when they turn it into a bill or into a law. So I, I get the frustration there, but I, I, mean, I, I, I agree with you there. You, you have to keep going. You have to yeah. keep contributing. Let's go to the phone lines real quick. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Who's this? Yeah, good afternoon. Afternoon. You have a question for Mr. Greenslade? Yeah, I'll ask Mr. Greenslade. What is some of the first thing we need to get some I just catch myself. This you? Everything good? I heard from you in a little while. Yeah, well, you know, I, I don't want to be no, you know. You, you are right with me. Chronic, you can call. You can call whenever you want. Ain't nothing no chronic to you. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. But like I say, uh, you know, I know I remember Greenslade, but... Uh, What's some some of the first fundamental things we need to sort out in this country first for us to move? What do you, what do you think? Well, in my view, my brother, I didn't get your voice, so I can't put a name to your yeah, voice. Well. But in my view, right, we cannot we cannot do anything physical or anything else. I can't hear you too good, but any other oh, one. Yeah. You can hear me now? Yeah, I hear you much better. Okay, I was saying it in my view. It will be difficult for us to do any tangible thing physically until we get our mindset right. It's the first thing yeah. we have to do. No, we but I, I mean, it. basically talking, I think we need to get the, the energy system sort of. Something yeah, we correct. get to that. Thing we need to correct in this country. We can get to that. We have a lot of things we need to fix, correct, and bring up the standard, right? Yeah, but that's, that's but the number one thing. If you get that correct... We could All be right. on a good road. All right. That's one of the very, okay. very first thing to me. Yeah. Okay, you so know. I agree All with right. you. I agree with you that the end. Yeah. And then I heard when Sparky called, and he brought up a point. But then again, you know, when we go way back, yeah, those people was in the whole sale business from, from way back that time, you know. Yeah, but they're Bahamians too. Yeah, right. They we all be aimers. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, they, I don't they, talk in that space. And so that's why yeah, I didn't answer yeah, yeah. You know, they, that no, I ain't nothing negative, you know. They was yeah. good. They was yeah, good, yeah. good at it. Yeah. I think you had a uh, couple lot of, well, you know, uh, but my point is that we have to get straight with the, ener with, with the energy first. Yes. And then we could be looking forward to move on to education and yeah. those other, other things. I know. I know that as your point. We must though. get that sort of voice. Things uh, is too high. And yeah. I had a problem when the lady tell the fella, don't say nothing. She don't want to hear about that uh, oil deal no more. What, 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 what they could have signed on and get the oil price cheaper. That's a bunch of nonsense. Yeah, mm. You just bang on that straight through. Cause mm -hmm. that, that, that got us in the, in the llama right now. Yeah. And, and you know, we, we, we catching hell right now because uh, see when energy costs go up, everything else go up. Absolutely. And that's, Absolutely. that's my philosophy. And I think that once we get that straight voice, then you can have more people go into business, stay in the business, and yeah. we can move on. But anyhow, I don't I want some more things to say, but I'll just... I'll let Mr. Green say respond to these. So that's some good points you brought up. Good to hear from you. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're right. We do need to pay attention to energy production and uh, distribution. And uh, I, I know we have a new Minister of Energy. I'm eager to see what she create, come up with in terms of her creation and vision for the sector. And um, any effort to not help us to reduce the burden that we now experience should be looked at and given consideration, uh, properly budgeted and uh, executed. All right, we're going to get to these couple of calls, but Mr. Producer, let's wrap these calls here because I do want Mr. Greenstead to speak to political victimization like we initially got, got talking about, so I'm going to leave some time. And, and obviously, you know, obviously callers want to hear your opinion and what you have to say. So that, that's something that you have to look at, which is, is very, is a very good thing. Mm. That you're still, you know, in the public domain and people still want to hear what Stephen Green has to say as a Bahamian first. Yeah. And I think, you know, the objectivity that you're showing here today speaks volumes. Let's go to the phone lines. Talking ads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hey, 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 good afternoon, Nori. Hey, what's uh, going on, my brother? To you, uh, you, you got a Down question? You got, hey, you got a question for Mr. Greenslade? Greenslade, uh... 
Oh, Leo, we, we, we talking politics right now. We ain't doing sports today. We went over a little, a little uh, into, into politics today. So hit Pearly tomorrow, hit me Friday, and, and we'll definitely pick up the sports talk. Let's get to the other caller. Appreciate you, though, Leo B. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's that? Yeah, this is... This is Dr. Lovett Scott calling all the way from North Carolina. We're part of North Carolina. Those... Hold on. Before you talk to Mr. Green, you're in North Carolina. Where in North Carolina? I'm in Raleigh. I called you before, North Carolina. No, but you're in Raleigh. You've been calling me from Raleigh, and you ain't sent me no ribs and no sweet tea and no barbecue. Come on, man. <laughs> and some beans, too. I'm still trying to find out who this voice is. I know who it is. But anyway, I want to say I am one of those Bahamians living in North Carolina. Yes. And it's not that I don't want it to come home. I wanted to come home at one point. I wanted to teach. I'm a professor. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm on the board of the North Carolina Central Counseling License Sign for persons who are licensed clinical mental health. I was Mm -hmm. appointed by the governor of the governor Coop. is it Cooper? That is remember. good stuff, anyway, man. That is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to say that I have a young lady who I was mentoring, and she went back home. She has a PhD in rehabilitation counseling. And this young lady cannot get a job at the University of the Bahamas. Really? Because what I heard, now I say this is what I heard, is because this person went and did a PhD, mm. and the person who supposed to be on or would be on the needle, doesn't have a PhD. So now they, I guess, all upset. But this is a young lady who came back home, went home, got married, had a kid, and now wanted to stay and work. And now this girl cannot find, this professor, this Le- doctor Le- cannot Le- find. Levette, Le- flip a, me your name. Job. Flip me your name so I could follow up on that, please. I would. But I just want to say, pe- some people did want, like I said, I did want her to come home at one point. But it did. I try. I got. I didn't even get hired at University of, uh, of the Bahamas either. I applied twice, and they denied me. That's when I was thinking of coming back home, right? But now, I mean, and I already set up here. I, I can't you, come back. You chose barbecue because, over Kong salad, but it's all good. What they're going to pay? They can't. I mean, university can't pay me no more. I, I, I well, must say, they can't. Well, when do I it for nation come, building. That's you know. That's my mantra. Yeah, figure, figure. and I had a I had a public care, I had a public um education. I went to um, Princeville for high school, went to yeah. UB, did my nursing, and then um, did a lot of other things afterwards. I put myself in the position to yeah. want to come home, wanted to come home and stay. But like I said, if you're not political, if you're not this, you're not that, uh-huh. and I wasn't none of those. I just go and vote who I feel is the best person to vote in my area. I voted for not because of party. I voted because who was the best person in my yeah. area at the time. I was living in Bacardi Road at the time. Mm-hmm. But I must say, we have to do a better job. I have a lot of young people who call me trying to find out how to stay in the United States. They don't want to wow. come back home. They don't want to come back home. And I'm telling you, we're going to have a green dream. No, we got one going on now. Trust me. Yeah. But Congratulations, can- Mr. Stephen Green Slade. Thank Bye. you, my sister. And you continue to do well as well and, and, and keep doing uh, the Bahamas proud as well in your capacity over That's great achievement. Good stuff. All right, let's get to another call. This is the last one right now, Mr. Producer, and then we'll, we'll let Mr. Greenslade wrap up. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? Good evening, no, It's Travis from uh, Freeport again. Hey, what's going on? All this well stuff. I would like to ask Mr. Greenslade if, if uh, he would consider um, assisting the Lincoln Band Group, because uh, he have a he's a very intelligent man, and the guests we got on today, and even the callers that call in and interacted, uh, that were there, the, the guest friends or colleagues of theirs, were a lot of intelligent fellas. And I was thinking, man, like from the PLP and F and M side, because people really fed up with this red and yellow nonsense going on over and over again. Like, you know, it have to be some type of alternative. And how you guys are intelligent, I you I sure in your minds and your brains, you have, to, you have to have considered something like this before, even if it was for a brief time. But people really hurting out here and need real leaders in this country right now to step up to the plate and, and just live for country now, man, and mm-hmm. be human people. So I'd like just to give you that question and see if that ever crossed your mind. And to any effect. Well, frank with you, 
um, it did cross my mind at some point, but it was too late when it did because I think Lincoln, the Lincoln running in the twenty, yes, Lincoln had a had a camp had a had a um, group in the twenty twenty one election. Not not to cut you off, right? But I I feel like he he is more so he already bring the knowledge and the the the, the yeah. things that the people need to hear. All right, let me. But I feel he as his position. I feel like he needs to be more of a chairman of a body and have other people step in his position to, to lead that body. I see. That's how I feel. I see. That, that's well, an interesting take. I haven't heard that one before, Carla. That's quite interesting. Yeah. Well, I, I was going to say that when uh, the COI came about, I was already a member of the Free National Movement. Yes, sir. And like I said to the DNA when I joined them, the only thing will cause me to turn my back on you if you do this. Exactly. In 2017, after the election, I found out that the DNA did that. Exactly. And I was out of there. Same thing. I was at FNM, DNA as well. I yes, decided sir. to go back home to the FNM to work towards nation building. Um, the FNM gave me a handshake back into the party and uh, the ability to work in the community and building. Yes, sir. Yes, the FNM and the PLP made a lot of mistakes. They did a lot of good. Let's not forget mm-hmm. Because we wouldn't be here now doing what we do now if they didn't do some good. Right? I, and I, I, I believe in Michael Pintar. So, he, so, he, 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 he have a lot of people who have his back and know, know the type of person he is. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, when I, when I give my commitment to a, a thing, a cause, or a group, the only thing that cause me break that, if they do something to me that I thought was principally uh, wrong or a principal breach. Other than that, there's nothing you can say to cause me to turn my back on them. Yes, sir. If I have to correct them, I correct them internally. And my body know just how I operate. I'm straightforward. I'm clear. And I do not stand for unrighteousness. All right. You understand? You continue to be that little shining light in that dark place, man. Well, I know how much lighter it is yet, because I, I still am a novice <laughs> in politics. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll do easy. my best to represent you and any Bahamian uh, voice that I hear. All right? All right, now before we let you wrap, Stephen, I'll, I'll be honest with you. You, you got to promise me you're going to come back because, I mean, we get calls, alliances, blah, we get texts. But today has been a, a very candid show. A lot of folks chiming in, a lot of new voices chiming in too. So that's always good to hear. So we got to, you know, I, I, I give it Jeff, I give it Lerotti. We got to make sure I'm you know, well, if you and drop me. it up. I, well, I can get I you. you. You could zoom. You could zoom from wherever you're traveling. You could zoom from your flight. You could zoom from wherever. Well, that's true. That's it's true. all good. Technology. That's but I do want you to speak real quick. And then we'll, we'll, we'll wrap, go to the break. And after Mr. Green said, Ross, and I'll let you take it to the news, Mr. Producer. That's cool? Yeah. All right. So uh, at the end of the day, please, let's talk. And we could start it today, and we could continue it on other episodes, which is no problem. But it's something that, that you really need to speak to. And, and I think a lot of people have touched on it, especially the doctor who called in from North Carolina and some other folks and some other taxes. This is the continued fear of political victimization in this country. And we have, yeah. to, we have to get from under that dark cloud. We do. We do. We absolutely do. It's destructive. It destroys families. It destroys ambitions. It destroys in, uh, the community. It's just destructive. And pr- quite frankly... The reason I'm here today is I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it from uh, the PLP. I'm sick of hearing about it from our party. I haven't, and, you know, you could throw your darts at me if you want. I haven't seen victimization played out in our party uh, when I came in and we were in the tail end of governing between 2017 and 21. I didn't see it. If it happened... I haven't seen it. People say it happened, but I ask, show me the evidence you have that it happened, and I will fight uh, for, for justice for you, all right? And, but I hear stories after stories after stories of uh, victimization, and I'm mounting a cause for people to come out and voice their stories so that I can take record of it. And, at the, and with the appropriate authority, I could deal with it. I think 
you and I, and, and many people growing up in this country, it's become part of the fabric of the country. It's become part of what I call Bahamiana. Shouldn't be so. And it shouldn't be so. It's one of Should the negative so. parts of our culture that exists to this day. And a lot of times I tell people, that's why I pride myself that I work for myself. I, I work for a company independent from a government agency, and I could you know, make a living slinging jokes anywhere in this continent or anywhere on this planet on any continent if I have to. Because I've not, I never wanted to, to be under that dark cloud of victimization. But I have seen it over and repeatedly. I've seen you guys experience it. Uh, and we'll let you, we'll get to the quick break and then we'll let you wrap up on it. But it's something that, that we need to talk about. And I think it shouldn't go away. I think it's time that we address it yeah. and start putting it in the corner. And, and, and we need to address the elephant in the room. And, it, and, and it's called victimization. Yes. Yeah. So we'll take right. a quick break. For the flip side of the break, we'll be back to wrap up with our guest, Mr. Stephen Greenslit. Your pumpkin favorites are back at Dunkin'. Indulge your pumpkin passion with fresh-baked pumpkin spice donuts, mouth-watering muffins, and delightful munchkins. Or sip a Dunkin' Pumpkin Spice Signature Latte made with a rich blend of espresso, pumpkin spice, and vanilla flavors, all topped with whipped cream, caramel drizzle, and cinnamon sugar. Available hot or iced, Dunkin' offers the ultimate pumpkin coffee experience. Head to Dunkin' today. The Bahamas runs on Dunkin'. Cancer Treatment Centers of America is now City of Hope, creating one of the leading cancer care and research networks from coast to coast, providing more of what you need. More locations means more care closer to home. More specialists means more expertise. More research, more advancements means more treatment options. And more options means more hope. Learn more at cancercenter.com. Naughty Johnny's Restaurant can only be described as the experience you want to recreate again and again and again. Their motto is simple food done well. You're welcome into their home at Naughty Johnny's where you can dine on crack conch, conch fritters, and other Bahamian favorites. There's also an international flair that's guaranteed to offer something for everyone. Enjoy a good meal and listen to a live band on their patio Friday and Saturday nights or brunch on Saturday and Sunday only at Naughty Johnny's Restaurant in the Old Town Plaza, Old Fort. They're open 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Friday, 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. on Saturday, and 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. on Sunday. Naughty Johnny's. Well, what the truth? You've tried everything. Asus with your mother's cousin's sister's auntie and even hiding your money under your mattress. But is your money safe? Your Bahamian dollar deposit in a member bank or credit union is insured up to $50,000. If anything happens, your deposit up to the insured value will be returned to you thanks to deposit insurance. Visit Deposit Insurance Corporation at www.dic.bf. Protection for your money. Guaranteed with DIC. The Grand Bahama News is available every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. Buy your local paper at Freeport Convenience Stores, Western Bakery, to Gregory's Fine Foods, and Bellevue Gifts. Want to reach your Grand Bahama customers? Then call Barefoot Marketing at 827-4578 or message them for ad rates via their Facebook page. Advertising opportunities now include classified ads too. Keep up with all the latest Grand Bahama news in the NASA Guardian newspaper every Tuesday. Refined style with elegant taste. The fine threads is your place. If you want those slots hemmed or just taking the waist, the fine threads is your place. If you want to look suave and have an air everywhere you go, like you're supposed to be in a gonna step out and look great, the fine threads is your place. Refined style with elegant taste. Then fine threads is your place, is your place, is your place. Go CIBC First Caribbean. We help you to get what you want this year. Spin the wheel of wishes. With a trip for two to Miami. Spin the wheel of wishes. You can win loads of cash for Christmas. CIBC First Caribbean. Win with your approved loan. Visit CIBC FCIB slash Wheel of Wishes for more information. Conditions apply. John Shoes and Accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. You will find what you're looking for among the growing collection of classic and trendy styles with new arrivals every week. John's covers the whole family and has great prices, helpful and friendly customer service. Your experience shopping with us will be time well spent. 
Shop with us online at www.johnshoes.com. John's also now carries small home appliances. So come on into John's located on Rosetta Street in Palmdale and Carmichael Road West. John's, we put fashion at your feet. Play with Island Games. We making dreams come true. Play with Island Games. We paying more out to you. Don't mind the noise in the market. You get cash in your pocket. Cause Island Games is spicy and spicy is tradition. So when you play, play Island Games. we put in Bahamian's voice. Guaranteed to pay Island Games. We like them mother jokers. We've been here from the start. From the bike to computer. Island Games. We can make your dreams come true. We playing with Island Games. The new KFC Nuggets have arrived! That unlike the no gets, ours are handmade using 100% white meat. Unlike the no gets, at KFC, we hand bread every day to achieve perfect flavor. After you try our delicious and crispy nuggets, in the original recipe, you'll never settle for less. KFC, the real nuggets. It's finger licking good. This is Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. We're back at you right here on uh, Talking Edge Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Listen, some of the texters who asked me to convey that information to Mr. Greenstead, I've gotten it to you, so he will follow up with you in regards to your cases of victimization. But um, I, I, again, we will have Mr. Greenstead back and we'll continue the conversation on this. I'm going to let him wrap on this. But I think it was important to bring to light that it's something, like you said, we, we can't avoid the elephant in the room anymore. We've got to address it. Yes. And uh, I'll, compl- I'll close with saying, or reiterating that, you know, we do have to start think, start thinking about the future we want for the Bahamas and what we need to do to bring ourselves together to accomplish it. And on the point of victimization, I don't think it should happen. Um, and I think the general thought is it's commonplace, it's wrong. And uh, I'll continue to raise my voice against it. Well, I want to thank you for, for being here today. And I want to let you know, as always, me casa has two casa. So please, I'm going to get with the road. I'll get with Jeff. And I'm going to hold you to it at least twice a month, or if, if not more. And to your schedule, because I know you're busy. But we got technology now. So you could Zoom. We could do call-ins if necessary. But we, we want to keep hearing from you. Because obviously, the response we've gotten today, Baham- there are like-minded Bahamians out there that are sharing in the same concepts, the same belief, and have the same thought process. We need to get better as a nation. We need to fix the country first and then figure out the politics afterwards. Because if you don't have a foundation, no house will ever stand. Absolutely. And we need to get the foundation right, and we need folks such as yourself who are not afraid to, to, to share their thoughts and their knowledge for the betterment of the country right. and, and address the elephants in the room that we need to talk about. Right, and, and do it. As per our constitution, without fear of uh, harm or ill will, you know. Yeah. I'll be I'll be honest with you. It's actually just text written. No, any time Mr. Green said, all he got to do is talk PLP victimization for the next couple of years, and he'll get that nomination to run again in the next election. Noted, Carl. Noted. Right you up. see, I mean. Noted. So obviously, people, <laughs> people, people on the run. They, they, they you know, like-minded. And guess what? It's time for our generation to be heard. Yes. And you know how long I've been standing up on the soapbox for that, right? Yes, yes. So rumble, my brother, rumble, I got you. They need to hear our generation because we've always been the bridge in between the older generation and the younger generation. So why not let us lead? Yes. Why not let us step in the gap and fix what needs to be fixed? Yes, and you know, so many, so many Bahamians, I think I don't want to prolong the show, but so many Bahamians keep their voices silent because they fear uh, repercussions for speaking out. And that's... 
because we don't hear a lot of the intelligence that exists in our society, a lot of the creativity that exists, um, if persons uh, fear that if they speak out, there'll, some be, there'll be some type of uh, retaliation or repercussions to follow. And that's wrong. That's wrong. That's uh, repressive, and it doesn't advance our country. And I think uh, once we continue to address it and allow people to know that it, it's not right and, and you don't have to accept it, I think that'll be one less obstacle people have going into the next election. Yes. We need to eliminate that fear. And I think that's a, a, a ripple effect that will open up many other doors to, to, to be freed up from this sad victimization. Right. So I'm glad you, you had the, the fortitude and the courage to address it. And it is kind of a, you know, it's a little box right there. It's a little can. Yeah. When you know what I mean, I like the open can. So we'll, we'll, we'll continue to push this envelope. Yeah, we'll see. I'm prepared to, 